Hey, what's up? All right, so, yes. Two shows. And, you know, I like to decide the dynamic, the, the difference and similarities. Okay, so what do these two shows have in common? They're both CGI, and they're both side stories to the main plot, or the original franchise. One is Lost World Camp Cretaceous. The other is Fast and the Furious Spy Racers. I'm not making this stuff up, people. And they're on Netflix. And I've watched these shows up to about current time, I believe. And that's basically all the similarities. The difference is the Lost World Camp Cretaceous takes place in the last three uh, Lost World uh, films takes place between the first film of Lost World and the second film of Lost World. And it's catching up to the third film. That's where it leaves off is on the uh, to, to the third film, the beginning of the third film. And so it's season one and season two, basically. It's side stories to those two movies. Um, and so it's this kind of battle royale survivor um, storyline of these campers who get left behind during the events of the first and second film of Lost World, or Lost Kingdom, whatever. Um, and it's it's good. It has good drama to it. It kind of says, like, what else is going on kind of well during the events of the first two films. And it's quite good. I like it, you know. Um, you know, not everyone would have gotten off the island. It's a big island, so it kind of shows them bumming around, eh, forming alliances, you know, how learning to get along, learning to survive, you know. And uh, there's a few um, uh, contrivances, I'll admit, you know, where it's like, and that's convenient that, you know, you get a piece of quiet for a while before it's destroyed, you know. And it's like, can't you just give it, like, five minutes before, you know, the dinos, like, conveniently come in and destroy it, obviously. You know, it's like, if that would have happened, it would have happened a long time ago. It's like, come on, really? We're pulling that shit now? It's like, yeah, they don't get their sanctuary for very long. It's like, oh, for God's sake. But other than that, it, um, uh, yeah, the survival point where it's like they're being dogged by the dinosaurs, you know, that is good. Their dynamics, that is good. The mystery of what the hell's going on, that is good. But the fact that they're constantly dogged, they find a moment of peace, and it's like, and now they're being dogged again. It's like, that's a little contrived, you know? It's like, this would have been safe because it's been safe up until this point when they get there, then it's no longer safe. It's like, really? Really? But anyway, um... Yeah, I highly enjoy that. I recommend that. It's it's a good it's a good watch. Um, now, Fast and Furious Spy Racers is not really that prevalent. If 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 the first pilot you know episode was not you know connecting the Fast and Furious franchise to a CG, I don't know if it's voiced by him or if it's just a guy who sounds like him uh, of uh, Toretto. As this guy is this, this lead character's uncle or whatever, then I guess I think it's supposed to be um, the son of the guy, the brother who dies in Fast Seven. I think I'm not sure. Uh, it, it's something like that where he's that kid grown up, so it's he's a teenage version of that little infant that we saw uh, in like Fast Seven. I think anyway, so the kid's growing up and he has this little ragtag team of racers with him. And then, like, Toretto gets kidnapped, and he says, good, you're good enough, and since you saved me, you're good enough to become like him? Like, it's some sort of organization, like, um, you know, whatever, uh, the Majesty's Secret Service, you know, whatever James Bond works for, because they go, like, globetrotting, or, or, like, they come, like, James Bond, where it's like, we give you, you know, super tech, we fly you over the world to solve problems, to chase down, you know, blah, 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 black, bad guys, and it's like, really? Really? Okay, and if not for that first episode kind of crossover connecting the two, and if you didn't know this last kid's name is Toretto, you would think this is some sort of teenage version of, 
you know, Fast and the Furious, which is basically what this is, you know, the next gen edition, you know, so, um, having him go through that is kind of like, okay, I guess, but there's no crossover other than that initial point, indoctrination by the series, by the lead character, and so you're kind of just like, okay, and then they just go off and do their own separate thing in the same universe, where it has nothing to do with the Fast franchise other than that one episode that connects them, you know, and uh, it's its own thing. I mean, it's entertaining enough, but, you know, where the uh, Camp Cretaceous people stick to the events, you know, the events of the movies affect them in their own series in time. So you see, okay, that was over there on that side of the street, and now this is us here on this side of the street. So you can go back and forth and say, oh, okay, I can see where that is parallel with this point in the timeline. That makes sense. In Spy Racers, there is no connectivity. Nothing either one of the movies or the the series does can is affecting the other. So there is there was there's no connection between this side of the street and that side of the street. It's that part of the world and our part of the world. Nothing is connecting them. So like I said. Other than that first episode, if you didn't know that this was a part of that universe, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't know. You honestly would not know. Other than the fact that they use cars to race around and track down bad guys with super tech, you know? So, like, like that, you know? So, yeah. So, that's really all I have to say about these two series is, is that they're spinoffs of these somewhat still popular franchises after all these years and yes i'm old enough to have seen the first fast and the furious and the first jurassic park movie all those years ago so yeah they're a decent watch i highly recommend camp cretaceous and i kind of sort of like give it a watch if you're interested if you're heavily inebriated like i am right now uh yeah sure then check out spy racers then maybe you might get a kick out of it it's not that deep it's not that complex it's just a non-stop racing thing with spy elements thrown in there because you know pff, spy elements so yeah and that's it all right take care and um hope to see you in the next installments of these franchises all right take care